I had a dream that I was at the beach mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, everybody was in the water, everything like that. But then it started getting like dark, kind of far away, like almost like behind some mountains. Like, yeah. You can tell the storm is coming. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, oh, well, I'm going to get all the way out of the water because I don't, I don't want to be in the water when it's like that. So I get out of the water and I start noticing, oh, people get out of the water. But no one has left the beach yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then there's like lightning far away, but it's like a lot of lightning, like a lot. And I keep having a lot of dreams about lightning lately. Wow. So I'll be, I started feeling really weird because I was like, okay, once again, there's like this lightning, but it's like really loud and it's very like it's, I'm thinking, I think it's actually hitting the ground. So I'm like, we should probably leave mm -hmm. my friend. And I look out, and I see all these people, like, they're looking kind of freaked out, so they're gathering their stuff. There's people leaving. There's a lot of people on the beach. And I look out at the family. There was a family that was, like, in a boat out kind of far, and they had not come in yet. Oh, like, wow. To the shore. Yeah. And all of a sudden, I look, and they're just spinning. Like, they look like they're going down a toilet bowl. Oh, like they're a whirlpool. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, what in the heck is happening? And then my friend is like, yo, no, we got to go. And what we noticed a wave is coming behind them. Like, not like the wave ha is up, but like, you know, like, the thing before a wave comes, like yeah. a big hump of water, and then the wave, yes. like when it comes back, it brings a wave. Yes. That was coming. Like, the big hump was coming, but it was huge. And, it, I mean, it lifted them up and then dropped them back. And I knew that it was going to suck in, and it started sucking in. I mean, like, the shoreline disappeared. Like, the water just, they disappeared. Tsunami I, I, time. Ooh, everybody, people started running. Yeah, people started running. And I started crying because I was like, they're gone. Like, I already knew, like, that th that family is gone. Like, they got sucked in. And um, so I didn't necessarily see a wave or anything like that, but everybody was running. Everybody was freaking out. And all of a sudden, like, the lightning was more overhead than it was before and it's hitting buildings it's hitting the water you know people are screaming people are falling everywhere and i'm running with my friend mm -hmm. and then um i don't exactly what, remember what happened in the middle of all that i don't really remember but i knew that a lot of people were gonna die like i i started crying in the dream because i knew that this was not, it's not like the movies where you have like this core group of people and we're just all surviving together. I was like, yo, most of people are going to die. Like, everyone's going to, I'm probably going to die. So I started telling everybody around them, like, are you safe? Like, da 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 And people were responding. They were like, yeah, let's do it right now. Like, I, I don't want to die. You know, I don't want to go to hell. But I, I woke up after I was like trying to share the message with people right. uh, but it was a very frantic environment like it was just too frantic and I knew that people were like I was doing what I could but when I woke up I knew immediately that the time to do it isn't then it's to do it now uh -huh. those people were making a decision out of fear and I was so I felt so bad when I woke up because I said I bet a lot of those people you know when they die they're still gonna go to hell because they, they they didn't actually make a real decision and they went out of fear mm -hmm. and and it was like a warning to my spirit like say now share now because when and i also knew like it's either i'm gonna die or i'm gonna be raptured away but like there's you're not gonna have people telling you to never go it's right now wow. so it was just kind of like a warning but i didn't actually see the wave i just knew one was coming right. like right after that hump so mm -hmm. like for me, it was like the that first pump has passed, and now a wave should be coming. And I don't know if that I don't know what that means. Uh, the lightning in these streams have been bad. Like it's been unnatural lightning that like hits the ground and like blows things up or like kills wow. people. <laughs> There's a part in the dream after we all ran from the beach and the lightning and everything like that. The the clouds had cleared and the lightning stopped. Um. And people, like, we had ran up the, the beach, you know, like, at some beaches where there's, like, a pier and there's, like, maybe, like, restaurants and, like, carnival rides and stuff. Right. Like, after everything happened, like, people started acting normal. Like, the lights turned on and, like, there was fair food and people started going, like, oh, okay, cool. Like, we're good. We made it. What's up? Everybody's chilling. And I said, 
we gotta get up out of here. I was telling people, but we gotta go. Like we can't stay here. That, that wave is coming. And people right. are like, Andrea, relax, chill out, man. Like I think we're good now. Like look, the sky cleared up. Wow. Like, yeah, I forgot that that happened. And that's, I think that's why I started telling because I knew people were going to die. Right. Like, they're not listening. Right. Like, these people are not listening. Now we have to get out of here. So, um, so, then there was, like, a random fire at a building. So, there were some people panicking. And then, like, the people that I was near, those people were like, okay, we got to get up out of here. But everybody else was, there was kids playing on, like, the little car, the little, little thing that goes around in a circle and they, like, ride on the horses. There were, there were kids on that. There were people getting all this food and stuff. And I was telling people, go, you know, and I was trying to tell my friends about the Lord and everything. And then that's when I woke up. So it was just a weird, that was weird. It was really weird. This dream was like a few days ago. So I'm remembering another thing in the dream. There was a part when we left the beach um, where there was like a group of people who were running into some buildings. So, me and my friends, like, followed, because everybody was like, we didn't know what we were doing. There was a lot of panicking, there was a lot of running, so we just noticed people heading into some huge building. It was very tall. So we started going up the stairs with everybody, and there's a lot of people in here. And um, by the time we all kind of made it to the top, there was nothing there. We were just all smashed into the building like sardines. And you smelled like smoke in there. Oh, wow. So I was like, oh, we got to get up out of here. So me and my friends started running out. Or we got our way out. And I realized that there was a fire at the top of the building. Oh. Yeah. So people were going up there and, um, you know, there was smoke and stuff. I don't know. They probably got hurt. So it was also, it was also a feeling of, uh, I remember thinking in the dream. I don't know what to do. There was so much panicking going on, and I had no idea what to do. And um, that's something that the Lord has been speaking to me. Like, when it gets very, very loud, because everybody's running here and there, and, oh, he's out in the desert, and all that. You know, if you don't hear the Holy Spirit today, you won't hear him when it's very, very loud. 